So how should you handle your partner's criticism? If your partner's critical during a conflict, and remember, criticism is different than a complaint. A complaint says, hey, this specific behavior hurts me. It affects our trust and intimacy and connection together. And this is what I need from you to feel close instead. Criticism, on the other hand, is attacking their character. You're so lazy. You're so selfish. You never do this. See, criticism actually shields us from the discomfort of actually being vulnerable and talking about how we feel and what we need to feel loved and safe and valued because that junk's hard with criticism it's not their behavior that's the problem it's them so how do we handle it if our partner defaults to criticism during a conflict we do two things one we try our best to stay regulated we respond and not react we look for the hurt underneath the attack we try to get them to express a feeling instead of a criticism and then we try to understand their perspective and two just as important we set healthy boundaries and standards for behaviors that we're not okay with going forward. We say, I can tell this issue is very important to you, which means it's important to me. And I'm more than happy to talk about your feelings and needs, but I can't do that if you're going to call me names or attack my character. That's not okay. And lastly, for anyone who's saying, well, I used to be nice. I used to say things in a kind way, but they didn't listen. What you're doing is justifying your critical tone and words, and that's wrong. Remember, you wouldn't like it if they blamed their defensiveness on you, right? Well, I wouldn't dismiss your feelings if you just, no. So let's not blame our criticism on them. Now, it makes sense why you feel like the only way to reach them or get your needs met is with criticism, given how much they've dismissed or invalidated you, but that doesn't make it any less destructive to the relationship.